What is up? Welcome back to a brand new video. It is I, League of Legends Echo, and today I wanted to come back and I wanted to get you guys the next in the tier list series. Today we're gonna be looking at my picks for the top super power-ups. Which ones should you not be picking up and which ones should be an instant cup when you play your games of Super Animal Royale. So real quick, we're gonna go through each tier starting in D and all the way to S. Now there is only eight equipment, so we should be able to get through this pretty quick. Thank you guys for watching. Hey, if you're one of these people that are watching but have not subbed yet, think about subbing. Thank you, let's get started. For the D tier, we are going to have the Super Juicer. Now, the Super Juicer increases your maximum carried health juice from 200 to 300, and when fully healed, you know you can grind up those coconuts, grind up those mushrooms, and grind up the health juice, but it is going to be in the D tier alone. This power-up is still dog even after the season eight update patch. Do not pick this up. Every other equipment on this list is going to do a better job than this one. In the C tier, we are going to first talk about the Super Bandolier. Now the Super Bandolier is gonna increase your maximum carried amount of each of the ammo types, each of the throwables, and will let you carry one extra tape. What I have found is that you're going to be killing people and picking up and refreshing your ammunition and refreshing your throwables, refreshing your tape. So there's no need to ever use the bandolier unless you are using something like maybe um, double special specialty weapons, double snipers, double something like that. Then the extra 15 ammo or extra 10 ammo or extra 20 ammo can be useful. But other than that you really shouldn't be picking up the super bandolier rounding off our c tier we're going to have the claw boots now the ability to uh, cut the tall grass and to get items from it does sound pretty good but players can actually see you cutting the grass with the claw boots through walls through trees so i found that it's more of a negative than anything now what we have to talk about is if it its ability to not let you slip on ice now this can be very very helpful but you're not going to find that ice that often you're not going to find those watery beach areas that often and i have a feeling you're not going to be walking through the bcg eggs on the ground so this weapon is going to sit at the top of C. Getting into some of the more popular picks, we are going to start with the Saw Impossible Tape. Now, in the past, I have really discredited the Impossible Tape, but lately in all of my games, I have been using the Impossible Tape. I think the 15% faster tape alone is good enough to put it in this B tier. You don't really understand how clutch that can be until you get into those low HP 1v1 situations and the ability to get a uh, armor that is dropped from a super animal that you have killed with one tick in it is also really, really good for armor swapping and be able to barely beat out those 1v1 battles. So the impossible tape is gonna sit here in the B tier. Next, we do have the banana forker. Now, in my opinion, I would put the banana forker higher up because of my gameplay style, but I know that a lot of people uh, do not like to play around holding bananas because grenades are so good, because skunk grenades are able to hold so much of an area and allow it not to be passed through. So the Banana Forker is going to end up in B tier because it is still good, but not as good and not as game to game useful as some of these other power-ups. Getting into the A tier, we are going to be starting with the cup grade. Now, being able to chug that cup and get your 25% faster healing of health juice is obviously good. You see people probably win multiple games a day using the cup grade, but I would still say that there are two more equipments that are just going to edge us out, but it's gonna be in the A tier. Here at the top of A tier, we're going to have the Skunk Gas Snorkel. Now, if we just had the ability to move 25% faster in Skunk Gas and Skunk Gas Bombs, I would say it's already a great equipment. But when you are reducing the damage of the zone as well as the Super Skunk Gas Can Bombs and not giving anyone sound cues of you coughing when in the gas, altogether, this is gonna create a amazing super 
power up and you should think about picking up this equipment more if you have some of these other options available to you. Last but not least, and you had to know this was coming, in the S tier alone, is going to be the Ninja Booties. Now, not only are you going to be able to reduce the noise of movement from 50%, you're going to have that increased movement speed and we have heard that you also travel faster when on the new season eight zip lines. So altogether, this item was already stronger, probably needed to get a little bit of a nerf to be able to be on the same level as some of these other equipments, but it got even stronger this patch. If you see a pair of ninja booties and you're not worried about having to out heal or survive in the zone, make sure you're picking up the ninja booties this season. Thank you guys so much for watching my tier list and I'm gonna let you guys know right now, the next tier list that you see on this channel is going to be my 175 player tier list. Tier listing everyone from below average to God tier players. So put a W in the chat if you'd like to be a part of that video and I will see you next time.